testing. This is the Tuesday, January 14th, 2019, regular meeting, presentations and closed session of the Board of Supervisors, 2 p.m. Testing, testing.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, if we could ask the chambers to please come to order. Thank you all very much. And if we could ask the board members to please take their places as well. That will allow me to indicate that we are now uh, going to reconvene into open session following our closed session meeting earlier this afternoon. We're going to begin this uh, public portion of the meeting with a Pledge of Allegiance. And I'm going to ask uh, Mr. Mike Wasserman, our colleague, to uh, have us all stand. And Mr. Wasserman, if you'd lead us in the pledge, please. Would you mind? I pledge allegiance to, to the, the flag, flag of the United, United States, States of America. America. Thank you very much. That takes us to item number seven. Item number seven is to consider and act on recommendations relating to certificates of appreciation, commendations, and proclamations. We'll ask the clerk to please display the voting panel on our screens. And if we can get a motion to approve, which we have from Mr. Wasserman, and we have a second from Ms. Ellenberg, and we're going to ask all members who are uh, available to please vote on the screen. And all members having voted, we'll ask the clerk to please display the results on the panel overhead. And the measure carries three to zero with uh, two members away who will be joining us shortly. Thank you very much. That takes us to item number uh, forgive me, eight, there we go, which is to present certificates of commendation to Santa Clara County Science and Engineering Fair Award recipients. And I'm going to turn to Mr. Wasserman to help carry that item. Mr. Wasserman. Thank you very much, President Smitty. And uh, it's my honor to make these presentations. I'd like to ask Mr. Forrest Williams, the Santa Clara Valley Science and Engineering Fair Association board member, and Ayana Wilmot, seventh grade student at Oakwood School, and Rafael Figueroa, sixth grade student at Harker School Middle School campus to join me at the podium. And I believe that's worthy of applause. Yes, thank you. Thank you, you as well. All righty. I've got a, commendation, a couple of accommodations here. Um, Raphael Forrest, can I leave this one with you? I see he's not here today. I'll leave that with you. And Ayana, you look very familiar to me, Ayana. Yeah. Maybe we've done this once before? Yeah. You're, you're quite an amazing young person, absolutely. So I've got a commendation here for Ayana Wilmot. Thank you. For the Santa Clara County Science and Engineering Fair 2019 Synopsis Championship Award recipient. Congratulations to you, and I'd like to ask Forrest and you to say a word if you have just a moment. That will be all right? All right. For my project, I tested different types of lichen in more Mars-like conditions. I did experiments with different species of lichen in humidity, pressure, and light conditions. Thank you. And I'm sure all of you were thinking when you were a seventh grader, you were doing the same thing. <laughs> yeah. The Board of Supervisors Wise and the other board supervisors, I really appreciate you taking the time of your busy schedule to honor our outstanding students. These are the people that will be solving the problems that we're leaving them in the future. And many of the problems that are facing us today they are always working on the solution for those problems. The Santa Clara Valley Science and Engineering Fair Association is one of the premier science fair organizations in Santa Clara County. We host Santa, uh, the, Santa, the Science Fair Synopsis Championship in Santa Clara County once a year in March. We have over 1,000 students and about 960 projects that we administer here in the city of San Jose. And these are your students. These are the students that 
you are, have the responsibility for seeing them to be good citizens, and they are performing that task. So I'm proud and happy that we are here to look for the future, and that you are here to help these students as they look forward to the future. Our future is not happenstance. It is something that we shape and build for ourselves. So again, I want to thank you, Supervisor Wasserman, and all the Board of Supervisors for your consideration. Congratulations. Thank you very, very much. And that takes us to item number nine, which is to present the commendations and proclamations. And what we'll do is uh, turn to the county executive, actually slightly out of order, to handle 9B, which is the uh, commendation for Susan Silvera. You can make noise on that one. That's, that's a lot. Round of applause for Susan. Thank you very much for the, your years of service. If this is your proclamation, I'm going to read a little bit about you while you stand there and be embarrassed. <laughs> so we're here to celebrate Susan's 31 years of service to the county of Santa Clara. Susan's been an invaluable member of the VHP marketing and communications team, spearheading many innovative ways to communicate with the public and expand our market as we grow our health plan into a regional um, engine. She's dedicated her personal and professional life to healthcare um, throughout that time. She serves as the co-captain of the Roses Rays for Hope uh, and, and also the American Cancer Society's Relay for Life team. Um, she's been the treasurer of the Santa Clara Women's Club for two decades, which is focused on the betterment of the community in which she li lives. She started working for the county in 1987, has worked in the health system for all those years, and has been an invaluable um, member of the team. She's had an integral part in creating the health plan and voicing its message throughout the community. And she will have left when she leaves us after 31 years an invaluable legacy of lasting relationships with the community, lasting health care with the members of the community and with our very important clients. And I want to thank you very much for 31 years of commitment. Thank you very much. Too. You want to say something? Go ahead and say something. I took a couple notes just um, because I want to first, um, it's been an honor to work for the County of Santa Clara. Um, I started when I was 12. No, I'm just kidding. Um, my job afforded me the opportunity to work alongside um, many county uh, departments and people. I'd um, like to thank um, the executives and my manager and all the employees. There's a VHP showing over here because we also have Employee of the Month, Sarah. Um, I also work with Health and Hospital, Public Health Department, Print Services was like my best friend, ISD, Parks, ESA, and all the service centers and really formed some great relationships that um, I'm still in contact with a lot of people still outside of my retirement. Um, thank you, and I wish all county employees a rewarding career and even better retirement that I am enjoying. I've been actually retired for six months now, and it's, I recommend it. It's, um, Wait a second. Stop that. <laughs> if you have 31 years. <laughs> and um, I'd like to also thank my husband who is here and um, just for being my rock um, through my work life and our life life, and now hurry up and get retired so we can get out of town. So thank you so much. Thank you very much. Pictures, pictures, pictures. pictures.
Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations again, and thank you for 31 years. Just to clarify, nobody gets to retire before 31 years. Thank you very much, Susan. Great job. Supervisor, Supervisor Wasserman, I'm going to exert what little executive authority I have and ask you to bring Raphael forward so he gets his moment in the sun. For the record, we don't ordinarily encourage shout-outs from the audience, but we're, 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 going to, we're going to make an exception in this case. And we're not going to let Forrest speak again. Right? Okay. okay. Right here. So this is Rafael Figueroa, um, a 2019 Synopsis Championship Award recipient. You're in sixth grade? Seventh. Seventh grade? Yes. Thank you. I read it wrong. Will you please tell the audience here a little bit about what you did to win this award? He was in sixth grade when he won it. He's in seventh grade now. Go ahead. You don't have to talk. Round of applause for Raphael. Way to go, big guy. Congratulations. Congratulations, and thank you for joining us today. We're going to turn now to Supervisor Chavez for item 9A, which is to present a commendation, uh, which he will explain in just a moment. Supervisor, thank you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year, everyone. So I have the honor of getting to um, thank Patricia Melanuda. Melanudo? Where is Patricia? Get up here and help me fix, help me, uh, and Patricia, and Patricia, your father and your brother are here? Do you want to come up or do you want to just take pictures? Come up. You want to take pictures instead? All right, well, all right, well, you can, wherever you like, you're, so, you're shy? I don't believe that. All right, so on, on behalf of the Board of Supervisors, I'm honored to present a commendation uh, to Patricia Melanudo. Did I say it properly? Melanudo, yes. Melanudo. After 25 years of exemplary oh, service. <laughs> oh, good, her brother's sister. And Patricia, yeah, let's give her a big round of applause. She has worked diligently to enhance the lives of the most vulnerable members of our community in a number of roles. And I just want to outline these. It's kind of amazing. As one of the first dependency investigators with the Department of Family and Children's Services, as a social worker with the Adolescent and Family Life Program within the Public Health Department, as a domestic violence specialist with the CalWORKs program, and then as a social worker, and later as a social worker supervisor in the Department of Aging and Adult Services and the Adult Protective Program. Throughout her 25 years tenure at the county, Patricia has demonstrated great leadership skills, exemplified compassion and dignity, and consistently supported her staff with opportunities to grow and advance professionally. On behalf of the Board of Supervisors, we are really honored, and all of the county residents, and everybody who helped who's not here to say thank you today, we're saying thank you. Thank you.
Congratulations and thank you again. That takes us to item number 10, which is to present awards to the county departments in recognition of extraordinary commitment, leadership, and volunteer excellence in support of the 2018 Combined Giving Campaign. We can turn to our county executive for that purpose. Dr. Smith. All right, thank you, Mr. President, members of the board. This is a great uh, pleasure to be able to honor all of our employees for their participation in the 2018 Combined Giving Program. I think everybody here knows, but for those listening at home, um, this is our opportunity as a community of 20,000 employees to contribute even more to the community than we do normally in our daily work. Um, this year, the uh, employees in this county raised over $1 million, $1,058,203, which is our highest uh, contribution rate uh, so far and is uh, fabulously uh, impressive. I'd like to uh, recognize the uh, co-chairs uh, for their support this, this year. These are the three department heads that made it happen. Renee Santiago, Paul Lorenz, and Jeff Draper. Maybe you can stand. But the uh, real people to thank. <laughs> are the steering committee and the lead coordinators and coordinators comprised uh, who did uh, kickoff event, training, marketing, recognition events, and actually um, sat down with all the employees in their departments to make sure that there were adequate contributions. So would all of the steering committee and coordinators please stand for recognition? And now we have the honor of uh, giving some awards to particular departments for their participation. So uh, as I call you, please come up and we'll give you your award. Uh, for the most spirited and creative department uh, for departmental involvement and, and enthusiasm from a medium-sized department, the Office of the County Executive Risk Management and Vai Trong Do Bia Kani will be accepting along with Glenda Munoz. Congratulations and thank you. Let's do a photo before we let you turn away. For the highest dollar amount contributed and highest percentage of employee participation from immediate medium-sized department, we have County Fire. I'm not sure who's going to be here to come on up. Congratulations. Why don't you introduce yourself? Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Suwana Gurdgao, and I'm honored to represent County Fire. I'm the Deputy Chief, uh, working under Chief Fire Chief uh, Tony Bowden. And I can tell you that uh, the employees, both civilian and sworn personnel there, all come together to help uh, this particular event to encourage each other to help one another to help within the community here because we are very uh, fortunate that we serve them on a daily basis out there in the line but sometimes we um, get an opportunity to do a little bit more 
behind the scenes. Thank you. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Sorry they didn't tell me who was going to be here to receive it. Um, now, for the highest dollar amount uh, from a large department, we have Santa Clara Valley Health and Hospital, represented by Renee Santiago and Paul Lorenz. I think Rene cheated because he was a co-chair. <laughs> Why don't you introduce the rest of your team? And, uh, thank you, Dr. Smith. Uh, we have here with us, Paul Lorenz is very busy, hopefully uh, taking care of not only our hospital, but the transition to new, two new hospitals, so otherwise he would have been here. But we have uh, Rosie and, Li and uh, Linda who are with me who, as Dr. Smith acknowledged, are the ones that really were leading the whole effort in terms of coordinators, as well as all the steering committee members, Maxine and others who are in the audience. Thank you very much. This is a great opportunity for our county employees to step up and give back, as was mentioned, and it's really, truly an honor to be able to serve in this capacity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Huddle in tight together, folks. Come on. Thank you and congratulations again. Okay, the highest dollar amount contributed by a small department. We have pretrial services and Aaron Johnson, the director, will be receiving the reward. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Come on up. Uh, this is my executive assistant, Joan. Uh, we were the co-chairs, part of the co-chairs with the clerk of the board for last year. And so being a part of uh, getting to work with and getting to know a lot of the different agencies and being a new person myself to Santa Clara County, I want to say this is an awesome opportunity for new staff and uh, veterans alike to really give back and to, to understand what it means not only to provide this public service, uh, but to also see things in action in our community, uh, in our personal lives as well. So. Congratulations and thank you all again. Thank you. Okay, then for the highest percentage of employee participation in a small department, we have the clerk of the board, and I think Gene Anton is going to be here with Frank Soriano. Come on up. Sure, we're on. This is Gene Anton, and I'm Frank Soriano. We're honored to uh, accept this award on behalf of the clerk of the board, who is currently out right now on maternity leave, and uh, she just had a beautiful baby girl, so we're happy for her. Um, appreciate the support, and we'll see you here next year. Oh, okay. just easier to do what he asks you. That's just the way it is. Congratulations and thank you all again. Much appreciated. We don't have a name for uh, Megan's new baby, but everybody's healthy and doing well. And then for highest percentage of employee participation, we have 
social services. I think uh, Bob Minacachi is going to take the uh, reins here. So quickly, I just wanted to say this was the first year that one of the giving options was for a scholarship fund for foster kids. And this year, we all contributed over $10,000 to that fund in its very first year. So we look forward to more contributions in the future. And thank you so much. Thank you. Congratulations and thank you again. So, Before 1,045 we... um, charities were uh, benefited from our participation. Another big round of applause for everyone. Dr. Smith, we're going to call on you again in just a moment, but before we do, uh, colleagues, on item number seven, which was the formal vote on recommendation relating to certif uh, certificates of appreciation, commendations, and proclamations, we had a couple of supervisors who had to step away from the podium briefly. Without objection, I would like to simply uh, allow Supervisor Chavez and Supervisor Cortese to add their I votes to item number seven. Hearing no objection, we will turn to the clerk and say it is so ordered, and I know the clerk will find a way to make that work, notwithstanding our electronic voting panel. All right, thank you very much, Madam Clerk. That now take, it is so ordered, and that now takes us to item number 11, which is to present certificates of appreciation to Employee Excellence Award honorees for January 29th, and we're gonna return one more time to our county executive to help us with this item. I'm spending way too much time down here. Next. Next time it shows. Well, this is a happier day than most Tuesdays turn out to be, uh, Dr. Smith, so we're delighted to take the time. Again, an exciting part of the month to be able to award a few of our employees the Employee Excellence Award for the month. Uh, this is always a great time for the board and for myself because it gives us the chance to honor um, a few out of the 20,000 employees that do a great job providing services to our entire community. Without you and without the other 20,000 individuals, uh, we wouldn't have the fabric of society that provide, is provided by this county and the services that we provide. So thank you very much for all of you. Please join me up here on my right and my left uh, in the chairs and we'll get started. Round of applause as people move forward. Okay, so the way this works is um, I will call your name. You'll come up here and stand next to me. I'll read a little bit about you that your supervisors wrote. Hopefully they didn't put anything too embarrassing in there. <laughs> but it's always exciting to hear the stories about our employees. Then uh, we'll turn you over to uh, President uh, Simidian for your award and then come back and sit in your chair. And uh, after we're done with everyone, we'll do pictures, okay? And then for the audience, feel free to clap and yell. Just don't throw any things. <laughs> okay. Um, first of all, we have an award recipient from uh, December who was unable to meet us, meet with us then, and that's Rocky Edward Ocampo. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Can't get away that fast. Okay, well, Rocky is a marriage and family therapist with the Behavioral Health Department. He's been an employee of the Behavioral Health Department since 2015. He currently works as a treatment coordinator in the county's inpatient psychiatric unit, providing treatment services to the very severely mentally ill. 
Rocky has always been an integral part of the 24-hour care unit because of his work, because he can work independently and he has an excellent team player mentality. He often covers with, for his peers without complaints or hesitation. He brings compassion, harmony, cohesiveness, and leadership to the department. Rocky goes above and beyond the call of duty to ensure that his teammates, the management, and the patients particularly are supported by assisting in crisis calls and also in receptive feedback and flexible communications. Rocky represents the true meaning of teamwork and his great leadership skills have been a great asset to not only the County of Santa Clara, but to all of the patients who rely upon him for care every day. Thanks very much, Ron. Adele hey, Angel. Nadell is a senior uh, mapping tech with uh, the assessor's office, has been with us for 16 years. Nadell demonstrates exemplary public service. He continuously displays a high degree of professionalism in his interaction with the public. He always goes above and beyond to provide property owners with the requested information. He consistently receives positive feedback from our external customers and his internal customers as well. Medell is committed to efficient, effective, quality service. He frequently seeks to improve his skill set in the mapping unit by learning and sharing new and efficient ways to improve processes. He has created a seamless and effective workflow which makes the mapping and prop department one of the most efficient and effective units of the assessor's office. Medell exhibits mutual respect He's congenial with both members of the public and his staff. He has a positive attitude, and his behavior earns him the respect and admiration of all. He encourages innovation and flexibility. He's created several new scripts and increases the efficiency of the unit by improving the tracking processes that are necessary to meet the department's needs. Adele's leadership qualities are reflected in prompt, accurate accomplishment of his assigned work. His positive attitude, disposition, and good nature exemplify, exemplify the traits of a great leader. Without his willingness to take on task and his indispensable commitment to the community and to his work, the office would be much worse off. Thank you very much, Patel. <laughs> Zule Rodriguez. Zule is a human resource um, assistant, too, with ESA and has been with us for three years. <clears throat> she is one of the first people into the office every day. Zule puts 100% effort into getting things done and keeping the office run smoothly. She puts extra time in to make sure that her duties are complete, giving her best effort every time. She's prepared and receives emails all the way until 6 o'clock, from 6 o'clock in the morning till 6 o'clock at night every weekday. She's always taking pride in her accomplishments and gets things done in a timely manner. Currently, Zule oversees the front desk operations as a work out of class office management coordinator. She has been assigned with specific tasks for keeping the front desk running smoothly. At the time she started her assignment, the department was in transition and a review of the front desk was necessary. She developed and improved the processes which allowed the department to run smoother and much more effectively. <clears throat> Zule uh, enjoys working for the hospital because it allows her to have contact with employees and residents of the community. She enjoys it so much that she's chosen to pursue her degree in healthcare, business administration, and management. We'll need you for one of the new hospitals. <laughs> Sule has already obtained her bachelor's degree and is working on her master's. Her career goal is to become a health center manager at the hospital 
and she can rely upon being able to do that because she's a great person to work with. Congratulations. Maridel Aguirre. Maridel is a senior accountant with the finance agency. He's been with us for 21 years. She started with uh, the Department of Revenue before transferring to the Controller Treasurer's Department. Maridel's hard work, attention to detail, and dedication won her appreciation from managers, and, and she has been promoted several times. As a part of the Controller Treasurer Department, she reviews vendor payments processed by the county departments and makes improvements to the process. Great, they needs to be improved. I hope you're watching those payments closely. <laughs> Don't let the departments get away with anything. <clears throat> she also works in general accounting unit and has helped maintain accurate accounting information. She currently works <laughs> for the department's ASAP t team where she became a, a key member responsible for system support of the accounts payable module. Maridel's work demonstrates ethical conduct. She is known to, for her strength of character, trustworthiness, and her respectful treatment of others. She shows commitment to efficient, effective, quality service. She delivers excellent customer service uh, to both the users of the system and to her colleagues. She upholds fiscal responsibility and has many times been responsible for fiscal transparency and, and analyzing uh, manners of day-to-day -day payment transactions. Lastly, Maridel exhibits mutual respect. She's an inspiration and a role model for all in her team. She treats all with dignity and respect and encourages her coworkers to express their opinions and ideas and new plans to improve the process. On a personal note, she's married with two children, is an active member of of an organization to help less, unfortunate, less fortunate individuals and loves to travel with her family, watch movies, read, and sing. Congratulations. <laughs> Neil Ashton. Neil is the Deputy Public Guardian Conservator in Social Services. He's been with us for 12 years. Neil goes out of his way to provide the most thorough and complete care for his clients, their families, their friends, and the public at large. He is never to the one this, he is never the one that says, not, in, not my department. He always takes on the extra mile and is compassionate with his explanations to the public about the service that we provide. His kindness and decency are legendary to anyone who's worked with him and to the entire department. No matter how difficult the task, Neil embraces it and will do his very best to provide the public with the best care and consideration. Neil's ethical conduct absolutely exemplifies moral conduct that is needed. He is an example to all of us of one of the most honest and respected individuals in the office. He enhances his honesty with gentle, a gentle nature and empathy, a value to his community and work in, and to his work in his personal life. He is a consummate good citizen. Neil demonstrates a discreet leadership that, he, that is always available to everyone that he meets with. He gets his work done. He provides support to others. He exemplifies the qualities of an outstanding employee. Neil helps management edit policies and procedures because he wants to make sure there's positive feedback. He does not boast about his accomplishments, but simply work, does his work and is compassionate and thoughtful to all. Without Neil, we wouldn't be able to make the system work. Thanks, Neil. Tammy Tran. Tammy. 
Tammy um, is, has been with the Sheriff's Office since uh, 2013. She began her career as an account clerk and was promoted to accountant one in June of 2018. Tammy has worked in payroll, accounts payable, and the Sheriff's Civil Division. Despite the fiscal unit being continuously short-staffed for five years, Tammy has always done an amazing job to ensure that operations run smoothly without disruption. She continuously volunteers to learn new procedures and to take on additional tasks beyond her, her duties. In 2016, Tammy worked diligently with our other civil division staff to implement a new sub-accounting system for tracking and administering civil court cases for the county. The implementation period was thorny and complex, but Tammy rose to the challenge and demonstrated her ability to be an essential player in the process. Currently, the civil accounts unit supervisor has been out of the office on extended leave, and Tammy has once again risen to the challenge by covering both desks as the interim civil supervisor of civil accounting and attending to her normal workload. She supervises two account clerks in the interim and the civil accounting unit continues to run smoothly. Tammy is diligent, dependable, well-liked, and she's an indispensable member of the county's, or the sheriff's office accounting team. Tammy recently got married on October 20th. <laughs> and we congratulate her for her marriage to Matthew. Good job, Tim. <laughs> is Matthew around? No Matthew. Oh, there he is. Stand up and take a round of applause. Sarah Cody. Sarah's not the Sarah Cody that spend a lot of time down here normally. No. no. Yes, I know. <laughs> Sarah's a management analyst with the probation department for six years. She's being recognized due to her exemplary customer service and her commitment to the county's core values. Since joining the team, Sarah has continually demonstrated her commitment to ensuring the most responsive and effective services for our clients and for the entire community. As a model team member, Sarah can constantly exemplifies diligence and attention to detail while upholding policy and fiscal responsibility when processing contracts and solicitations. She never shies away from the opportunity to expand her skill set and always volunteers for the most complex assignments. Sarah is known for innovation and flexibility, always striving to think of ways to streamline the existing processes. She took the lead in developing and facilitating the new first ever contracts monitoring training to help the probation department understand the contracts process as well as how to monitor contracts effectively. Great job. You want to go to the rest of the county and do that? <laughs> <clears throat> During the training, Sarah's professionalism, knowledge of contracts, and passion for helping were on full display. Her leadership in the training was extremely stressful but garnered great physical or great positive feedback. Sarah's personal character is defined by humility, honesty, and integrity. She values the importance of collaboration and communication with staff and the public. Her hard work and determination have earned her the respect of all. Her pleasant demeanor and sense of human of humor have provided a vibrant and much needed relaxation to the department. Great job, Sarah. Sarah Lara. Sarah is a senior health care program analyst and interim provider contract manager with the Valley Health Plan. It's a big <laughs> mouthful. It is. <laughs> She's been with the county for nine years. She began 
in the county as an account clerk to and worked her way up to the interim provider contracts manager. They have hundreds of contracts. The work experience that she acquired along the way, uh, with, along with her compassion and passion for the job, have contributed to her growth and the continual success of the Valley Health Plan. She is, she is in charge of provider contracts department and she is most deserving of this award because she exhibits all the positive qualities of a great manager. Sarah works tirelessly to make sure that the department is running smoothly. She is smart, efficient, and effective and brings value to the department every day. She brings out the best in her staff and with every department, part of the department with whom she interacts. Sarah is unselfish when it comes to teaching her team what she knows. She motivates them and teaches them to be respectful of everyone in the department as well as all of our clients. Sarah is fair and has a gift of being able to look at all sides of the situation. She's a great leader, forward thinking, honest, great communicator, confident in her abilities, and committed to always being positive. Sarah is heavily involved with her children's school on a personal note, and she's a constant presence being volunteer for many events. The Christmas, Christmas pageant, the sock hop, the eighth grade graduation. She's also very involved in her child's support, sports. All three boys participate in soccer. <laughs> Did I make you cry? Just a little bit. <laughs> Sorry. That's not, okay. not, not, not supposed to do that. <laughs> All three boys participate in soccer, basketball, swimming. She's a team mom for the sports and works tirelessly to understand the importance or give them the understanding of the importance of sportsmanship, mutual respect, and hard work. Great job, Sarah. amazing employee have such emotional connection to her job. <laughs> 20,000 employees here because they care about people. That's very inspiring. Monique uh, Sandoval. <laughs> <laughs> That's not really it. Pronounce it for me. Grijalva Sandoval. Sorry about that. <laughs> She's a senior health services representative for the Behavioral Health Substance Use Treatment Services and has been with us for 18 years. During that time, Monique has served in many capacities in the Behavioral Health Substance Treatment and Mental Health Services Department and contributes widely when she, no matter what she's doing. She started as an office specialist three, was promoted to administrative assistant, and is now senior health care representative, overseeing the youth gateway coordinator and front desk staff. Over the years, she has worked in data support in the Research Institute, in the Family and Children's Community Services and Prevention Division, and in youth treatment. She's always willing to go the extra mile and is knowledgeable and willing to help in whatever she does. Monique assists in the training of new staff and answers questions about the billing needs and others. Monique assisted with the HealthLink implementation by serving as a subject matter expert on client registration and admission protocols. That's where I've met you before. <laughs> Great job. We had the best implementation in the entire nation. Good job. She wears many different hats and does an excellent job with timekeeping, billing, interacting with the state on billing, which is a pain. Monique, Monique also works with clients and new referrals, training new administration and new staff. She oversees our office to make sure that it runs smoothly, supporting travel assignments, ordering supplies, and making sure that all the data in the, in the behavioral health systems is accurate. Most importantly, she provides excellent customer service to both our clients and their parents. Congratulations, Monique. Good job. <laughs> and last but not least, Teresa Price.
Teresa is a permit center, center program manager with planning and, depart and uh, development department for four years. Teresa's been the best advocate and the most expressive cheerleader for the department as the new per permit processing system Insight is implemented. As the permit center manager, Teresa and her staff are the first to face the public and see and take care of them as they apply for permits. She has spent literally hundreds of thousands of hours mastering the new system, running the many scenarios, testing, developing, and implementing the department's training, and above all, doing her normal work as a permit center manager. She has spent countless hours creating new case studies, developing training materials, and presenting them to all the department. Teresa has displayed incredible energy and enthusiasm that fosters success in the implementation of insight. One of her responsibilities is obtaining approvals for, patient, or for customers and, her, and helping answer questions so that they can better understand the application requirements. Teresa is firm but fair in her explanations and decisions. As a manager, she is always willing to answer questions, help guide the staff, and take the proper training tools in, in consideration. She consistently reminds them that they are great and they're helping accomplish the roles that they are intended to provide. Her skills are in effective communication, leadership, and training and they are amazing. Teresa was nominated for this job, and the nomination is wholeheartedly supported by her colleagues and the department director. Director, She is happily married, has two cats, spends her free time doing needlework. Congratulations, Teresa. I should also point out that we used to receive our fair share of complaints about per, uh, customer service and planning, and Teresa and the entire team have just turned that completely around. I never hear about it ever anymore, and they do a fabulous job. So uh, now we're going to ask you to join in a semicircle here, and we're going to turn our backs to all of you. and. Take some pictures, but you're welcome to clap and watch. <laughs>